Welcome to Apricot Cottage Studio. Today I'm going to do a little walkthrough through the brand new annual catalog from May 2021 to April 2022 from Stampin' Up! And I just thought I'd show you some of my highlights and things that are on my wish list. So it's a beautiful catalog. And it is available online. So one of the first things I wanted to show you were, was the um, A Wish for Everything set. So if you're looking for basic sentiments, this has got everything you'd need. Father's, Mother's, Anniversary, Birthday, Valentine's, St. Patrick's, Hanukkah, and the little sayings that go inside. So this is a really versatile set. It's got the little things you can put on the front of your cover, your sentiments, and then on the inside. So that's a good investment piece. And the next piece I wanted to show you is one of my favorites. I've uh, already done a, done a video on the many messages, which I adore because it makes a lot of sentiments really quickly. And I have them stored in a binder like this. So there's the many messages and I have them all stored in my binder. And then I can quickly grab them to make cards. I make a lot of cards to donate and send away. So they have a new addition to that called Many Happenings. So I've already got the die, so I'm just going to buy the stamp set that will go with that, and then I'll get two stamp sets to go with that one die. It's a single piece die, and it cuts them out all at once, so it's very quick. I really like that. Makes a lot of them. I've already shown you the strawberry set. And what else have we got here? Oh, I have to make some baby cards, so I thought this one was really sweet. It is wildly adorable. It's little little toddlers. And I have a couple little toddler grandkids that I think I can make some cards. This one, You're a Peach. Don't overlook this one because we're in the Okanagan and we have a lot of fruit trees, so this would be great for jams and making tags and lids for jam jars. And I think the uh, sayings on them are really cute. Have a peachy day. Hope your day is as sweet as a peach. That's very cute. That's on my wish list. I've already shown you the simple elegant one. Um, beautiful. There's also another one with sentiments that is quite sweet. It's called uh, Through It Together. And it says things like, stay strong, my friend. Follow your dreams. You are loved today and always. The one I really like is sending you this paper hug. So I would put that on the back of my cards. So this is quite a cute little set. Um, the one that I really like, which I, is the first thing on my order form, is the Expressions in Ink. I like to do uh, artistic looking cards and these are going to be gorgeous. So it's got a beautiful stamp set that's sort of watercolored. The paper is got gold glimmer in it. It's just gorgeous. So that's my number one pick. I do like the one that I just did the video on. Um, the ink colors are here, so Fresh Freesia, Polish Pink, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, and Pale Papaya. I thought that I would like the Polish Pink the best, but actually I like that Fresh Freesia, and because I like to do a lot of cards with Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather, that fits in beautifully with it. So that's something to look at. It's got cardstock, stamping pad, which I will be purchasing and the blends as well if you like to color. Um, don't forget if you're a scrapbooker that they have um, Memories of More cards for pocket um, uh, sc scrapbooking. I often purchase these little binders because they're the in most inexpensive binders that I can find for six by eight and it also has the paper at a reasonable price which is $8.25 that comes in five different sheets and it uh, has a nice assortment and I use that for my six by eight scrapbooking. You can use it, the cards though for any size scrapbooking. Um, one of my favorite ones to get is the Bumblebee tri Trinkets. I've mentioned these several times because I adore them. So I'm gonna order some more of those.
I also have been using the Gilded Gems a lot with uh, my cards and also the new ink color jewels. They're tiny but they're sweet colors and they pretty well go with any of the papers. So they're a good coordinating and they're a lovely faceted gem. Um, if you have, if you're just new into, into stamping and scrapping, you might want to consider this little die cutting machine. I love it. It's on the side of my desk. Makes it really easy to cut things. Uh, only small things will go in here, but this is bigger than some of the small ones that they have uh, on the market. And it folds up, so it doesn't take up a lot of room in my desk. And I love it. It's a really good investment piece. I uh, wanted to show you some of the um, dies that I've been using a lot. So the first one is the Scallop Contours. That's on page 158. And I've showed this in several of my videos because it shows, uh, gives fancy rectangles, which are nice backings for different uh, card shapes and sizes. So there's one, two, three, four, five dies in this set. There's also the basic borders. There's an extra one in here from one of the other sets, um, but it cuts uh, clouds and uh, mountain shapes and scallops, which is a really good piece. Nice for making envelopes as well. If you like trees, the beautiful trees dies is really cool. There's a beautiful tree in that. I haven't purchased that one yet. So also the basic borders I showed you and um, the Hippo and Friends, I've mentioned this before, have really nice uh, shapes where they're different sizes. Uh, I really like those, even if you don't buy the, the stamp set to match. It's got cute little uh, unicorn shapes. Uh, they've got still got layering circles, but just the plain ones. This one is new. I'm going to give this one a whirl, and that's what it's called, give it a whirl. And it is a rotating wheel. So you put a, a brad in there and the wheel would turn. So that might be fun to play with. Um, the Ornate Frames was here before. So that's a good one because it's got some beautiful frames to frame your sentiments. This one is new. Now they took away the stitched die shapes, which uh, are basic die shapes. But they've put this one in, which is interesting. It's called Picture This. It cuts out stitched rectangles and stitched circles um, out of a variety of different sizes. So instead of individual dies, they cut it all out at once, which might be very handy. I'll have to try that one. This is uh, the stitch rectangles, which is a classic. So it's just the plain rectangles with the stitching. And there's a new set of tags called TaylorMade Tags. It comes like this. This one isn't in it. That's from the Hippo set. But the tags are uh, ones with a curved top and ones with a more classic. And it comes with the little reinforcers as well. So that's a good basic. The Stitch with Whimsy ones, they don't cut out. They just put a, a stitching design in your cards, which adds a, a lot of interest. And then there's the Word Wishes, which are all the words like Happy Easter, Happy Christmas, which is a good basic as well. So... Those are my top picks for the new catalog for 2021-2022. I will be ordering this week and definitely number one is my uh, top pick. So if you are interested in ordering anything from the catalog, please let me know. Thanks very much for joining me.